Rivalry exists in the human world and is still the base of why there is love. Many people don't get along very easily and it can't be helped because even as peaceful as nature can be, there is also a higher fate of rivalry and hate between animals. Let's be honest, you can't just love everyone and everything that easily. And just like humans, animals tend to have their own unique personalities. So when you pair two different species together, it can either be peaceful or a clash of the titans. From chickens who take snakes down to animals that steal fresh hunts, here are 20 animals that hate each other. Number 20. Fence Lizard and Fire Ants over the course of the last 40 lizard generations, lizards have evolved to twitch and flee from fire ants. And according to a study published in the Journal of Global Change Biology, this weird behavior has since evolved very quickly. In a statement made by Tracy Langkild, professor and head of biology at Penn State and senior author of the paper, the lizards have adapted, and that they found that fence lizards follow predicted latitudinal clines in anti-predator behavior where fire ants have not yet invaded, from about New Jersey to northern Tennessee. They only rely on camouflage more often at lower latitudes in the absence of fire ants. In their study, the researchers also noted that the hind limbs of the fence lizards had grown longer than the limb size of the lizards prior to the fire ant invasion. Another thing to note is the long limbs which allow them to quickly remove the fire ants from their bodies and run away from the ant danger faster. These changes happened over the course of the last 80 years or 40 lizard generations. We usually think of evolution happening over hundreds, thousands, or even millions of years, so seeing that fence lizards can adapt to a threat like fire ants is such a complex way over a short period of time is truly fascinating. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. That takes us to this video's strange topic. Rats and centipedes have been known to be formidable enemies. The centipede in particular has venomous mandibles, which it uses to paralyze and kill prey. They usually dine on bugs, but would once in a while go for ants, with the babies being its favorite meal. Rats have grown adapted and ready to protect themselves from these venomous crawlers. Adult rats usually battle with these centipedes, trying as much as possible to avoid being hit by the centipede's venomous fangs. Imagine a kung fu film with an epic battle scene, but replace those ninjas with a rat and a centipede. You now have the tiniest idea of what a rat versus centipede battle could look like. Comment below with the hashtag strange topic and let us know what you think about this unusual rivalry. Number 19. Cats hate dogs. It's always been a natural phenomenon that cats hate dogs. But why do cats hate dogs? Some cats hate dogs, and their interactions consist mainly of hissing, chasing, and barking. Although this is an indirect contrast to more than a few cases of canine kitty love. So there must be reasons why some cats hate dogs while other felines live in perfect harmony with their puppy friends. Let's look at the answer to this question. Why do cats hate dogs? <laughs> Dogs are descendants of naturally social wolves, while cats' ancestors are Arabian wildcats, who are generally known to be loners. Even now, which is about thousands of years later, there are still traces of domesticated dogs and cats that possess some of their predecessors' traits. Dogs naturally have an instinct to chase small prey, especially if it tries to flee. It's no secret that cats typically don't enjoy being chased, even if dogs view it as a game. These felines like a simple, pampered life. Additionally, dogs have this innate in-your-face attitude and make for an easy best friend and or companion. Conversely, cats tend to hang back and assess the situation before extending their friendship. Number 18. Wolf Hates Bear the enthralling video, which was shot in Yellowstone National Park and is posted to the National Park Service Facebook page, shows the October incident in which a lumbering cheeky grizzly joined the wolves from a Junction Butte pack as they hunted a herd of elk. After the wolves take down an elk, the bear swoops in and steals the carcass. This act is a phenomenon known as kleptoparasitism or parasitism by theft, in which one species steals resources, mostly food, from another. According to the NPS, wolves and bears most times compete for food and hunt separately. On the other hand, bears stealing the food which wolves have captured is definitely not uncommon. In this case, the bear decided its best interests were served by actively joining the hunt, which the wolves have no say against. Meanwhile, from the bear's perspective, it must consume a lot of energy to follow a wolf pack around, but the reward is worth it if it successfully takes over a carcass. A fresh elk carcass is indeed a wonderful source of fat and protein for a grizzly bear preparing for hibernation. This intelligent sly bear seems to have figured out that following the wolves in the morning will increase its chances of encountering a high-calorie meal. Sadly, after the hunt, the wolves were forced to wait until the bear had finished its meal before taking advantage of their own kill. There have been previous videos from Yellowstone which shows wolves and bears confronting each other. In one episode filmed in 2019, a tour guide captured close-up images of a grizzly defending itself from a pack of wolves trying to reclaim an elk carcass. Basically, this oppression has always been there for a while now. Hang in there, wolves. Number 17. Chickens Hate Snakes 
While an adult chicken can bravely take on a snake, chickens cannot serve as a long-term solution for your snake problem. They can only be a slight corrective or preventative, to say the least, solution at best. This is because chickens, unlike hawks, owls, and crows, do not primarily prey on snakes. Regardless, they can easily kill snakes and even eat them when threatened. However, they do not go out of their way to do it. It only happens on rare occasions, and as such, they can't be an effective deterrent against snakes. Killing snakes is very common among chickens who want to protect their eggs or chicks. Technically, chicken killer instincts towards snakes were passed down from their ancestors, the red jungle fowl, from which they are domesticated. But unlike the guinea fowl, chickens mostly prefer to avoid confrontation with snakes unless provoked. Number 16. Sperm Whale Hates Orca in the ocean, sperm whales are the largest toothed predator, capable of attacking and eating other marine animals easily. However, the orca, also known as the killer whale, is a dolphin and a competitor with the sperm whale for food. Now the question is, what happens if a sperm whale versus orca fight broke out over a choice morsel in the ocean? Let's find out! The greatest differences between a sperm whale and an orca are their size and body shape. Sperm whales are dark gray whales with rounded heads and long bodies featuring several humps, weighing up to 45 tons and growing 59 feet long, while an orca is a large black and white member of the dolphin family with a very large dorsal fin that weighs up to 6.6 .6 tons and grows about 32 feet long. These animals are very large, but the sperm whale is much bigger. But mind you, that size isn't exactly everything in a fight, especially in the animal kingdom. A lone sperm whale would normally kill an orca in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Even when both creatures travel in pods, the orcas typically choose to separate the smaller whales from the group and kill them rather than face the terrible fury of a bull whale. But from the other perspective, the sperm whale would also have a lot of trouble killing an orca. This is because their teeth and jaws aren't great for biting and tearing animals to shreds. Tail strikes may also be too ineffective or take a great number of hits to put the orca down for good. Nevertheless, the sperm whale has a higher chance of scoring a killing blow than the orca. What do you think? Number 15. Octopus vs. Crab Two filmmakers, Gallagher and Webster, captured the unexpected footage on February 10th during a night spent diving and filming their homes off of the coast of Monterey, California, a region teeming with marine life. Using diving lights to find underwater specimens to capture on camera, the duo got initially intrigued by the red octopus, which could be seen relentlessly hunting its prey. As it slithered across the ocean floor, the two swam closer to fix their cameras into place and capture what they suspected would be a dramatic end for the octopus's prey, a poor crab. But because of the limited visibility on the night their footage was filmed, and the team was as surprised as the video viewers when the large harbor seal swooped in and claimed his dinner, right before the octopus could even act. There was blood and ink everywhere as they had been left surprised by the incident, although it wasn't out of character for this harbor seal. Gallagher described the event as a typical whiskers move. Whiskers, the name that was given to the seal, have formed a habit of using their diving lights to catch prey. Harbor seals are generally voracious hunters, with a diet consisting of squid, crustaceans, and a variety of fish. Their large, rotund bodies are difficult to lift on land, but when underwater, they become graceful hunters, using their hind flippers to propel themselves forward quickly. While they are not known for being particularly social, harbor seals are opportunistic hunters just like you saw in this video. Number 14. Rooster and Crow Crows are counted among intelligent and cunning birds. This is because of their ability to fly away with their food in the blink of an eye, whether it is a small thing to eat or an animal or even a bird. But it's not every time that luck favors this cunning bird. Over the course of time, something similar has come to the fore, where a crow had to battle with a chicken and in the end, it was necessary to save its own life. In the video, you can see that a rooster is eating its food from the garbage heap. A few seconds later, a crow also reaches there, and suddenly there is a fight between the two about something, in which the rooster starts by attacking the crow first. From there, the rooster attacks the crow with full force and drops it to the ground before it starts hitting it hard with its beak. The crow, who has met a much bigger and daring bird, can only be seen shouting in his defense. But even after all the efforts, the poor crow fails to get up and run away from there. Well, it was going to be difficult escaping such an unlucky grip, seeing as the rooster holds the crow's wings down and is attacking its neck and beak. After a long time when the rooster is convinced that it has taught the crow a lesson and won't be seeing it anytime soon, it leaves the crow. Number 13. Buffalo and Lion we all know that one of the most exciting wildlife battles is between lions and buffaloes. Lions and buffaloes have been known to be ancestral enemies since the buffalo has always been the most sought after prey by the lions. Why? This is because with just one specimen, they can also feed the most numerous herds. But buffalo hunting is not so simple for lions because the buffalo, in fact, has an impressive size, and its large curved horns are used to inspire certain fear. The force that it produces when attacking is just incredible, and let's not forget the fact that it's a very brave animal. The buffalo's herd also defends its members, so if a fellow buffalo is attacked by one or more predators, the other buffaloes react and go to counterattack. And it's not uncommon to see the lions being driven away by these large herbivores. 
Because of this, the lions usually look for an isolated member of the group or try to isolate it. This can, in turn, create diversified actions to trigger the herd's panic and disorderly escape that opens the group, allowing a better attack. But even when they can find an isolated buffalo, the hunt's success is not guaranteed and often battle lasts a long time, most times hours. But if a male lion participates in the hunt, this often succeeds with its weight in unbalancing the buffalo and dropping it. Once on the ground, things are much simpler for the herd. Number 12. Cuttlefish and Crab Cuttlefish are marine animals characterized by a prominent head and by a body shell and a set of eight arms. They are cephalopods just like octopuses and squid. They are known to eat small fish and mollusks and are commonly found in the Mediterranean, North and Baltic Seas, although populations have been found as far south as Africa. Popularly known as the chameleons of the marine world, cuttlefish can change color and texture of their skin and even go as far as disguising themselves as floating seaweed to stalk their prey. Footage from an episode of the BBC Natural History program shows the broad club cuttlefish, which is also known as the sepia latiminus, in Indonesia using its unique talents to hunt crabs. It contains millions of pigment cells with which it can create ever-changing colors and patterns which can easily hypnotize its prey, just like you see here with the crab. But this marine animal also has its own enemies to look out for. The cuttlefish may be clever, but a shark is bigger, and it eats cuttlefish. So the cuttlefish is seen using its color-changing skills to blend into its surrounding as a shark swims past. Number 11. Leopard and Hyena Amongst all deadly predators that have to fight against each other for meals, the lion versus hyena fight is a popular matchup. But the lion is not the only big cat that goes up against these laughing carnivores. Leopards may be one of the few large mammals that are trotting around on their own, but these cats have the power to stay very safe by themselves. Given their similar size and habitat, a leopard versus hyena fight would be indeed very interesting. Hyenas, on the other hand, are pack hunters, but they are just as powerful as individuals. In fact, they have an incredibly powerful bite force for a creature their size. They can bite down with 1100 PSI and have conical teeth that help them break the bones of their prey. Being able to quickly shear off a chunk of flesh has benefits when considering that these animals must compete with lions, leopards, and cheetahs for kills. Sometimes they can only snag a quick bite before being chased from a kill. Leopards, however, rely on their powerful bite and incredibly sharp claws to bring down and kill prey very quickly. Most often, they will deliver a single bite to the neck or head of their prey, instantly ending a fight. Number 10. Snakes and Mongoose A mongoose versus snake fight is an amazing battle that pits a mammal that should have no chance on paper against some of the deadliest creatures in the world. Remember, snakes are responsible for over 100,000 human deaths every year and the mongoose is a much smaller mammal. The average mongoose should weigh between 5 to 10 pounds and is only 30 inches long. An average snake weighs up to 20 pounds, but many of them can exceed that weight. In terms of length, they're about 36 inches long, but many of them tend to grow longer than that. However, in a fight between the mongoose and the snake, the mongoose would definitely win. This is only based on the average statistics of snakes around the world. The mongoose is generally a direct predator of cobras and other venomous snakes of all sizes of the native habitat clearly showing it has an advantage over them with its amazing ability to avoid their strikes and also resist their venom. King Cobras, which can measure over 7 feet long, can still get killed by a mongoose. Furthermore, the mongoose would likely kill any constrictor that was not as large as it, leaving large constrictor snakes as the only true predator for them out of all snakes. Number 9. Crocodile and Shark among the most frightening creatures to hunt below the water are sharks and crocodiles. Both animals are among the largest of their species and are recognized as apex predators in their environments. A great white shark is larger than a saltwater crocodile in the sense that a great white shark can reach 21 feet long and weigh a total of 2,400 pounds. The saltwater crocodile can grow up to about 1,500 pounds and 20 feet long, but heavier and longer variants have been recorded. <laughs> On average, the great white shark is obviously bigger. Saltwater crocodiles attack their prey with their teeth and powerful jaws. These animals can generate up to 3,700 PSI bites, diving their 4-inch teeth into their enemy's flesh. These teeth are designed to keep their prey in place while puncturing deep into their body. Crocodiles will often use a death roll to disorient their prey and rip off chunks of flesh. Exsanguination, broken bones, and punctured organs are all commonly seen in these brutal attacks. A great white shark, on the other hand, would easily win a fight against a saltwater crocodile. These deadly creatures are known to be incredibly powerful, but the great white shark has an amazing advantage in the water. Not only would this animal probably notice the crocodile first, but it also has the speed and stealth to land a devastating attack. Number 8. Eagle and Hawk Eagles and hawks belong to the family Accipitridae. This family includes a variety of species, both eagles and hawks, each with its own characteristics. However, there are some basic differences that you can use to tell the birds apart, especially in flight. One of the most noticeable differences is their size. Eagles are much larger than hawks and have longer wingspans. Hawks even have a similar appearance, but if you look carefully, you will notice that the wings of hawks tend to be more rounded and they have short, broad, rounded tails and stocky build. 
Eagles, however, tend to look larger overall with straighter wings. Large hawk species such as the Ferruginous hawk and the red-tailed hawk are large carnivores who only eat meat. The hawk and the adult eagle are both large birds of prey and have quite an instinctive dislike for each other. In fact, both species are reputed for fighting to the death. Hawks are known to raid eagle nests, especially whether the parents are around or not. But fledging eagles are most especially at risk from hawks and they will not hesitate to use them for dinner. Number 7. Ants and Wasps Ant and wasp clash in a rather frequent interspecies competitive interaction between social insect groups. At first glance, wasps may seem to be an advantage by being aerial, but on the other hand, ants can achieve high numbers in squirt formic acid, which is a potent neurotoxin for most animals, especially wasps. Wasps and ants can both bite and sting, and therefore they are somehow equal rivals. But not all ant wasp clash is competitive. Recently, wasps have been discovered to be taking defensive action against ants coming too close to their hives by picking up and dropping ant scouts looking for wasp larvae. This defensive behavior may be the origin of the behavior seen for the first time on the South Island of New Zealand yellow jacket wasps. The European wasp is an invasive colonial insect that has spread to almost every continent including New Zealand. Researchers have noticed that the familiar defensive behavior of the wasp turned into a competitive advantage against local ant species, which are known to be rather aggressive. In a study published in Biology Letters, researchers recorded wasps flicking ants away instead of initiating a fight. They have a good reason for doing so since the rival ants in the footage are capable of squirting formic acid. In the study, the researchers set up 20 separate bait stations containing tuna fish and observed ants being flung up to 62 times. However, the wasps didn't take the ants that far. It only dropped them a few centimeters away from the tuna, which was still quite effective. In roughly 47% of the encounters, the ants got confused enough and were unable to return to the tuna. But even when the ants did make it back, the wasps were victorious in 3 out of 4 of the times. Number 6. Scorpion and Tarantula Scorpions and tarantulas are two famous great arachnids exploring the earth for hundreds of millions of years, even long before dinosaurs existed. This is the battle between two of the oldest arachnids found on the planet. Scorpions and tarantulas do not fight regularly, but they will fight when it comes down to securing a habitat or food. Due to a scarcity of resources, they will turn hostile and murder one another. Each of these crawlers has its own coping mechanisms and outward defenses to combat its predators and progeny. On the other hand, scorpions have tough exoskeletons that form a thick armor barrier which protects them from certain attacks. But then there's the venom, which is a super weapon in the armory of scorpions and tarantulas. Scorpions inject venom through their tail stingers while tarantulas inject through their fangs. And although spiders have terrifying reputations, scorpion venoms are the ones to be concerned about. But while venoms have evolved as effective chemical defenses to help level the playing field for these arachnids, there's no denying that size matters in this fight. The larger the animal, the higher the venom dose necessary to have an effect on it. Number 5. Cheetah and Lion Cheetahs are widely known for being the fastest animal on land, and they are also pretty cunning predators. They can be found throughout Africa and parts of Asia, and that means they live near some of the other most powerful predators in the world. What I mean is that they share a range with lions, who are preferred to or preferably known as king of the jungle. These two opponents make a complete mashup of overwhelming speed against raw power. The battle between these two big cats comes down to a mix of their physical prowess and fighting abilities. And when they come face to face, there are a lot of things to consider in order to pick a winner. And just because a lion wears the king title doesn't mean it can have an automatic win. Sometimes the king can be put in its place. <laughs> However, scratch everything I just said because a lion would definitely win a fight against the cheetah. None of them is likely to ambush the other owing to their incredible senses. Although the initial clash would see a cheetah using its full speed to slam into a lion and successfully land a few good bites and cuts, the lion's thick neck and mane will reduce the damage that the cheetah can do. Number 4. Goose and Duck while we can all recognize a duck versus goose, there are many differences between these two birds that you may not have thought about, while both belong to the same family of waterfowl known as Anatidae. These two types of birds live very different lives, especially depending on their individual breeds and ages. The average duck, depending on species, weighs anywhere from 2 to 5 pounds, while geese weigh at double that. Ducks often grow anywhere from 15 to 20 inches in length, while geese reach 30 to 50 inches depending on the specific breed. This is a huge difference in size, and you can easily tell this when looking at a duck and goose side by side. Now talking about their physical facet, geese are vaster than ducks, having elongated necks, legs, and more extensive anatomy. Ducks are stouter and podgier. Both have webbed feet, but the webbing on these 
Chinese geese is more perceptible than that of ducks. Another prominent area of variation is their bills. Ducks have broad, flattened bills with nostrils disposed at an elevated position. Geese are sturdier as compared to ducks, so it would be our obvious connotation that the bulkier one would be victorious. In this case, it may not be that true to formulate a judgment. Geese and ducks are both peaceful and amicable birds that are very protective of their surroundings and of their mates. They usually refrain from attacking, but there have been instances where the birds have attacked other species. Number 3. Curiosity Quilled the Cat In this video, a young leopard hunting a porcupine in South Africa tried to play it cool but got too aggressive and paid the price. The video was shot by Jocko Desward and posted by the wildlife site Latest Sightings. The leopard casually grooms itself as the porcupine watches nearby on the road Kruger National Park. The tension escalates and the leopard eventually abandons nonchalance and aggressively paws at the critter. Despite the warnings of this brave little animal, the leopard must have already made up its mind. In the first instance, the porcupine hisses and jabs a needle right through the leopard's paw, leaving the cat licking its wound while the prickly critter makes an escape. Porcupines can be covered by more than 30,000 quills according to National Geographic, but just one was all that was needed to teach the leopard a painful lesson. And it isn't the first time porcupines emerge victorious against leopards. Leopards do kill and eat porcupines, but there's a learning curve ahead for this youngster. Number 2. Praying Mantis and Spider The differences between these two creatures are quite noticeable. They're from different families, and they hunt in a unique fashion and have a massive size disparity. Praying mantises are very interesting insects that are known for their folding raptorial forelegs and large size. Also, praying mantises tend to consume each other during the mating process, which can be very disturbing now that I think about it. These insects face many cunning foes throughout their lives, and they specialize in eating arachnids. In other words, spiders. An obvious act is that they are also sworn enemies. The key differences between a praying mantis and a spider, take the black widow for example, include their phylogenic class, morphology, and size. Praying mantises are tall insects that reach heights of 6 inches and use their raptorial forelegs to attack prey. While the black widows are small, web-spinning arachnids that grow a maximum of 1.5 inches in length and use their deadly venom to paralyze and kill foes. So I guess sometimes nature decided whether to make this member of the Furious Five or the venomous creature a winner. Number 1. Honeybee and Asian Giant Hornet are they cousins? No. Are they enemies? Yes. In fact, they are sworn enemies. The Asian giant hornet is the world's largest true hornet and its predatory habits can be devastating to honeybee colonies. Asian giant hornets forage for protein-based food from May to November. They mostly feed on beetles but will consume various insects and spiders. Asian giant hornet workers increase bee hawking or hunting alone for honeybees in August. During this phase, the hornets may be seen waiting near hive entrances, caching one bee after another and taking them back to the hornet's nest. As their nest expands later in the season, the hornets may prey on honeybees with group-synchronized attacks within about 0.6 miles of the hornet's nest. These slaughter attacks involve a group of Asian giant hornet workers that tear apart the guard bees' heads at the hive entrance and continue attacking the rest of the colony to feed on brood. Proof of this means beekeepers may notice a pile of dead, beheaded, or dismembered worker honeybees at the hive entrance. Reports from Japan indicate that colony occupation can occur rapidly during the slaughter attack phase, occurring on average two hours after the attack is initiated. Attacks typically involve 8 to 20 hornets, and only a few honeybee colonies will survive. Asian honeybees, on the other hand, have evolved with Asian giant hornets and have behavioral adaptations to protect their hives from Asian giant hornet slaughter attacks. If an Asian giant hornet enters the hive, Asian honeybees are able to surround the hornet, forming a ball. They will then kill the hornet by vibrating their wings, which in turn warms the ball cluster and the hornet within it. However, European honeybees are totally defenseless against slaughter attacks as they do not possess these defense strategies. That concludes today's video about 20 animals that hate each other. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time!